I never did anything to you. I saw some interesting stuff back there. Counterfeit money, a press. Only thing I can't figure out is a connection to Cuba. Please. I'm all busted up inside. I need a doctor. I got a wife and three little girls. Hey, you want a doctor? Then you better tell me something worth hearing. Listen. What you saw. Sal set all that up. None of the money was worth a shit, though. They had me bring in a man named Alvarez, counterfeiter who works for Castro. He give you the plates, too? Plates? I thought you knew, on account of the robbery. Robbery? <laughs> Mulcana wanted the plates from the Federal Reserve. How do I find Alvarez? Uh, How? Well, one of Tommy's guys picked him up. It was 10, 15 minutes before you showed up. Where are they taking him? Uh, Where? Huh? I spent the last 48 years pursuing Lincoln Clay because he's a criminal. It's horrible what happened to him, but you know something? I think that when Sammy Ellis and Danny Burke were killed, it revealed who Lincoln Clay really was, a monster. Get lost on your way over? I'm done with Frank Pagani. Poor bastard's not gonna be running anything through Tickfall Harbor again. It's our territory now. We on the road to making a whole hell of a lot of money together, brother. We stick together in this, and we'll change the face of the holla for the better. The lass is a fighter. You'll get no arguments on that. And she talks a good game, but she hasn't a clue what she's doing. I've run all the vices this city has to offer, probably invented half of them. There's no one better to be running them. I'm starting to get the sense that I'm being pushed out. One way or another, the message is being sent that Vito Scaletta is persona non grata around here. If I'm wrong, prove it. Can't go wrong here, brother. As long as you lean my way. <laughs> No disrespect, Vito, but Cassandra's the best person for this piece of the city. I've had enough of this shite. You're a lying, cheating bastard for dragging me into this. You preyed on my fucking sympathies and I'll never forgive you for it. Bert, come on now. Shit don't need to jump that far yet. There's only so much shit none an Irishman can take before he wipes it from his eyes and comes at you with both barrels. I see you clearly now, Lincoln, and it's time you made this right. It literally fucking kills me to say this, but Irish ain't wrong. And he speaks for me as well. You made your point, Burke. Now that's enough. Time to get back at it. Let's clear out. Look, I gave you some names and I'm paying you to chase them down, so don't give me any of that bullshit. Yeah, okay, just get it done. Christ, sometimes I think if you want something done right. You all right? The nighty. Sammy was so happy. Happier than I ever seen him. That money was supposed to get him, get all of us out from under Marcano. Motherfucker! What the hell did Frank tell you? Marcano had us rob the reserve so we could get his hand on a set of money plates. Georgie must have grabbed him during the robbery. I should have been paying attention. We already had this conversation. None of this is your fault. It's like hell it isn't. Sal is a cancer. A leech. 
He had always intended to fuck all of you. Christ, look what he did to Vito. He murdered your family. The only way to make that right is by killing every cocksucker who's ever looked at that piece of shit. Give me some of that bourbon. According to Pagani, Marcano couldn't print the money himself. So he had a Cuban counterfeiter named Alvarez brought in. What do we know about South Downs? Tommy Marcano isn't the kind of guy who shits where he eats. So his rackets are pretty low key. He runs a sports book and has a place where he stores his contraband. Tommy's got to know that I'm coming after Alvarez. So he's probably got him holed up in or near one of those places. One way or another, I'll get my hands on him. I'll be damned if I let Marcano print a single fucking dollar from one of those plates.